All right, we're gonna do a quick video here just to show the different functionalities of the gate as it comes standard from Gator. So, if your trailer comes standard, you'll see here, as I pull this up, there's a hole in the video here, down through this, so that can operate there or there with the pin going back. So the first function we'll show is we'll put the top pin back in. Then we'll show how to swing it out. So you'd want to swing it out. If you were going to attempt to load anything palleted, just set something in the back or dump your entire load at one time. So if your pin's in the holes that's actually on that, you can bring it all the way around. Then, your chain here that you use that will show the function of it later if you're spreading. You feed it up through that right there. Put it on that little pin. Then you'll see, as you dump, that'll stay there. Dump whatever you need, load whatever you need to load in the back. You're all good. So, say you want to spread gravel. All the way through, you drop that for now. Bring our gate back around. On this end, we're gonna put our pins back through, not in the poles on the gate, just all the way back through. We'll leave this one out. We're just showing how you put that back in if you're gonna load. We're gonna spread, you leave that one out. We're gonna remove the bottom pin. Then we're gonna take this pin Scoop that on back, put the pin back in. Now, when you dump, you want to spread at a slower speed. Limiting chains, use one on each side. Slow it down, spread a little bit, doing driveway work, things like that. Pin back in the bottom, you're ready to go. That's all your functions that you'd ever need to do. If for any reason you wanted to lay the tailgate down the opposite way and pivot it forward, pin back in the bottom, pull the top. Now you want to keep your hand on it. Pin the top. You can lay it down that way. For whatever reason, not very common you'll use it like that, but it will, it can do it if the situation arises.